I am Olivia Grady. I'm 24 years old and today is October 26th, 2020. I have 1,298 Instagram followers. I'm pretty sure it is a photo of me going to the Tonys in 2017. So I was actually thinking about this the other day. I'm pretty sure it was just because Jacob, Jeremy, and Logan and I were kind of running in similar circles, kind of overlapping on certain projects. So it was kind of just through friends of friends, I think. Interesting people doing innovative, interesting new work really diving into character arcs and dialogue heavy pieces, which is currently the type of art that I am really leaning towards and most interested in making at this moment. We've done a couple of table reads and pilot readings that I love. Logan wrote one in particular that we did a reading of in his apartment, I think last year. And that was really fun, just getting a chance to kind of read new work all together as a group. That's what I love the most. I think my favorite moment in my career was when I got my EMC card because of one, it was just kind of one of those things that felt like it fell out of the air, but I had actually worked really hard to get. So it was just kind of one of those cool moments that the hard work paid off and it felt easy. But I also really enjoyed working on my senior project and producing and acting in a show as well. I think especially with global pandemics and the way the world is at right now, it is definitely making me shift my priorities and showing to me what my priorities are. And I would have to say that right now it is definitely being surrounded by loved ones. I love Audrey Hepburn. Anything that she does is absolutely brilliant. So I would probably have to say my favorite movie is Roman Holiday. That's a good one. Why is this the hardest question? Um, I really like pale blues. Probably a pale blue or white. White's not really a color, but I feel very hopeful and creative whenever I see like a blank piece of white paper. Yes. <laughs> Most definitely, yes. I feel like, especially as an artist, it's hard to not feel pressure, especially in this time. I think pedestrians, non-magical human beings, people who aren't artists, which everyone kind of is in a way, but people who aren't pursuing it as a career track, I feel like look to artists, especially in crazy times of crisis like now. So I definitely feel a certain pressure in that sense to have like the right answers and a great new work. Like that quote that keeps getting thrown around, you know, Shakespeare wrote one of his greatest plays in quarantine. Like, I think there's a lot of pressure in that sense, but I think there's also pressure in a sense of like, making money and being financially secure and having bills to pay. So in that sense, pressure there as well. All kinds of pressure, all kinds of pressure. <laughs> Maybe someone having an opinion on a walk of life that they don't experience themselves, or having some sort of strong negative opinion towards someone or something that is not their own path, or trying to bend 
and manipulate negatively to get what you want. That doesn't feel good to me. Slow down, because when you slow down, you experience the romantic in-betweens of life and the real life magic. Whereas like, if you're just constantly going and going and going, a lot of really simple, lovely things can pass you by. So taking the chance to really slow down, appreciate where you're at, be grateful, and always lead with kindness and light. Well, didn't perform with, but I did get to assistant direct Jerry McIntyre in the regional premiere of Kinky Boots, which is really exciting. And there was a lot of really great, incredible theater actors in that production as well. Brian Sears was in it. He was incredible. So probably those guys. I have so many. I would love to be in a Greta Gerwig movie, 110%. I think she's incredible. I think Spike Lee is incredible. And I would love to work opposite Shia LaBeouf. I think Florence Pugh is a beautiful performer. I think she is just brilliant. There's so many incredible people, but she's definitely the first name that comes to mind. It's hard. It's definitely not for the weak of heart, for sure, but I think that if you keep being connected to your purpose and your why and your mission statement, then things will kind of just happen, but it's definitely something that you have to keep checking in with yourself about. Um, you know, reach out, don't be afraid to ask for help and advice, because more often than not people do actually want to help, and it's a beautiful field to work in. There's a lot of really big changes that need to be made, but I think if we all stick together and use our powers for good, then we're gonna be in a really good spot. But keep at it, keep dreaming, and yeah, keep checking in with yourself. Oh, so many. <laughs> um... I mean, the biggest one is just having more voices and having more room for equity and having, you know, some more people that look like me could be sitting back and listening and taking notes to see how we can actually get farther and create positive changes in our workplace. But I think most importantly, we just have to pass the mic, so to speak, as that Instagram challenge was saying. I think we really need to let some people who haven't had their voices raised up be the main people talking at the moment. I hate to say it, but probably Instagram. I am such a visual person but I definitely think we should be more intentional with it. So I'm trying to work on being more intentional with my Instagram use. I think trusting that the things that I want to happen will and can happen just because I want them. But that's been a really tricky lesson to learn and a tricky thing, especially now. But patience. Definitely being patient. I think half of it I would use to support friends' art, because I feel like I always have a different friend who's releasing music or releasing a new short or a pilot and I definitely just want to be able to support my loved one's art as much as possible. And the other half I would definitely put towards the Broadway Advocacy Coalition. 
my name is Olivia Grady. You can follow me at Olivia A. Grady on Instagram. My website is www.olivia-grady.com. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.